what's up for you? TJ here, how you doing? Or should I say, howdy TJ here, that's my normal MO. Got a box, this is from overseas, and I ordered it, I'm trying to remember when these uh, took pre-orders. I think it was at the beginning, was it at the beginning of this year or last year? Kind of lose track of time as you get older. So what's in this box? It's a uh, six by five by four maybe. Let's open it up and see. I think it's something that any of my Specky Next fans will like. Atari fans may like. Anybody that could use... Yeah, a lot of people can use this. They come in different form factors too. What is on top? Some styrofoam. <laughs> and these two little black doohickeys. First one, this little black plastic piece. Not sure if you're starting to figure out what it is yet. It's like a little cone shape. Then there's this ball. It looks like a billiard ball. <laughs> About, a, I guess, two inch. I'd have to measure one and a half inch round. Put that over here so it don't roll. Mmm. Little plastic baggie with a little plastic doohickey inside. We'll look at that closer in a bit. Now you're probably knowing what it is. You're seeing a cable there. So let's kind of lift out the cable and there's another piece of protective styrofoam. Very good. Ah, you're seeing a red translucent color. You probably guessed it by now. Empty box. This is the Arcader. Is that the proper pronunciation? A-R-C-A-D-E-R -E with a big R in the end. Arcader, and you're not going to see this because it's clear. But let's kind of just show you the back. Little suction cups. It says Arcader. Uh, wow. Yeah, my eyes aren't good, but there's some oh, retro radionics. Arcader. With a little R in the bottom. So I purchased the translucent red, and they have all sorts of colors. They're like the Apple iMac of olden days in the 90s when all the different colors of iMac came out. The clear ones, not clear ones, ones that look good for Atari and Commodore and you name it. Uh, Sinclair. For whatever reason, I purchased the clear red one. Probably because my Epix joystick, the XJ500, which is the same as you guys as Koenix overseas, is red in color. And I like translucent, so I decided to get the red one. I'm probably going to buy a second one of these. Um, uh, I also have purchased the red because, although I probably need to see if they have an orange. I've got the Auric back here. And originally I thought, oh, I've got to get the red one. But really, these keys are kind of... An orangey red. So maybe if I ever connect the joystick up to my Auric later on, maybe the next one I should get is a orange, orange type of one. But anyway, so cable. I purchased the Atari connectivity one. I figured that's probably the most logical one to get because I've got Ataris, I've got Sinclairs, Sinclairs use the Atari. Uh, so that's the one I purchased. Now you can unscrew this, and there's settings in here you can tinker with, or little dip switches or whatever, I haven't explored that far, to change things up. But for now, I'm keeping it stock. So, anyway, let's start with the top. So, I'm going to put this thing together a little bit. It looks like some pieces kind of came separately, but here's the metal shaft. On the top, it's got two buttons. Very cool. It's kind of, hopefully the lighting's picking things up. Translucent red. On the back, there's these two buttons. On? Off. Oh. On? Off. Oh. <laughs> I think, and I'm going to have to read up, these can be do different things, but I think one turns on this right button, and the other one may be an auto-fire kind of thing, or activates a second button for different systems, and that's where you can go in and play around with the innards and make it do different stuff. And I haven't explored that much. I just, I'm a pretty simple guy. Left, right, shoot. That's what I'm going to use this joystick for. 
So, nice big old buttons. I like the clickiness. Clicky, clicky, clicky. Screws. Everything looks good. It's got little suction cups on the bottom. So, yeah. Nice, tight looking, pretty joystick. All sorts of different colors. All sorts of different flavors that you can play with. So, what do I do with this stuff? So, I'm guessing this little thing goes here. And and I have been reading on the site. Some people going, what the heck that that that? there for it doesn't really hold in place so you got to do something a little tricky to make that hold in place i i just saw um some people in the past you could put a little you know plastic down there or a little rubber band thing and hold it down there here's the ball i'm guessing this just screws on the top uh, there we go and then i guess i need to just kind of hold this a little bit tighten it up all right, not too tight. Now that part's dorky, but I'm sure it could be rectified with smart thinking. Suction cups. I've never been a suction cup kind of guy, but I wanted to go ahead and try it. So, again, let's plug it into the next. Boot up a quick little game and try to play it and see how the joystick performs, and I'll just give my quick opinion. Try to keep this video kind of short. Just wanted to kind of show you the insides of the joystick. Because that way if you ever, if you did get one of the different type of this little guy here, the plate, uh, that's, you can pop open the joystick by removing three screws. And you can see the insides of the joystick. There's a little PC board in here held down by it. Looks like two screws. Uh, some little uh, cables that plug in. Those go over to the top side of the joystick. And there's the rest of the joystick, that uh, plate I just showed you. And the buttons there. So that's kind of like what the inside looks like. I just wanted to see what it looks like in case I wanted to switch this guy out. I think I'm going to leave this one for now. Uh, but anyway, so there's the inside of the joysticks. Thought it'd be kind of fun to kind of poke in there and take a look. Cheese! All right. I thought I'd play Basic Invaders on the next Becky Next. So let's. Um... Oh, I forgot you can operate the next from this. I don't want to go crazy till I get in the game. So Basic Invaders next. Uh, maybe pretty easy, you know, left, right, shoot. That's all I want to kind of test. So let's go ahead and launch it. Uh, K for keys. J for Kempston. Joystick. Zero to nine for difficulty. Four. Whoa. So left, right, you know, feels very fluent. Maybe this is not the best game to test it out. But it's a game I... Maybe I should try Night Night. But this this is always a fun little game to kind of spark up. Kind of quickly check stuff left, right. Feels really good. You know, feels clicky. I kind of like clicky things, so it feels really good. Let's... Uh, what else can we try? Um... I'm not sure. Night Night's not really a super arcadey. Uh, maybe I should just try my play my game quick. Um, uh, what other games are there? Next, uh, Angry Oh Angry Bloaters. Yeah, maybe that. Let's Hall of Things, Angry Bloaters, Night Night, Next Basic, Nextoid. Forgot what the heck that is. Space. Oh, joystick, two. S to start. I, I, I don't I, I think I played this. Entering level one. I forget what the heck this game is. This is terrible. Oh, yeah, that's right. So another left to right one perfect for me. 
Oh, but I gotta go down and touch these, get points. Feels very precise. Okay, let's try something else. Left or right, we know works pretty really good. I need to do something with fire. There's no fire on here. What the heck has fire? What games do I have that has fire? Browse. I think I actually used the... the and maybe it's night-night that you use the button to jump. I forget. Let's just run that. Oh, jeez. Next. Night-night. Yeah, it's jump, so at least I get to use the button. Buttons are definitely very clicky. If you like buttons that... I hit my button pretty hard, too. I kind of hit my buttons like I am loud. <laughs> you know, it feels really good. Precise, left, right, feels good. I'm liking it. My old joystick was getting pretty decrepit, so. Yeah. Really cool. So I want to just keep this simple. I'll, I'll play with it some more. But so far, aesthetics, beautiful. Nice and clear. Get the color you like. Clear, not clear, whatever. Nice big But Oh, jeez. <laughs> Let's, uh... Side of it. Um, back again. You got buttons. I maybe I should have pushed them and tinkered what it is. Only thing I don't like is that. That's kind of a little dorky. I'll admit. But maybe there's a remedy for that. And um, yeah, very cool. I would definitely get one. I, in fact, I think I'm going to get a second one. Uh, I'll keep one for my next. Maybe I'll get a black one for my next and use this one for my orc. Works. Cool. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.